shot outside a high school stadium. Half a year later, the Northside Independent School District has finally publicly identified the woman shot by one of its officers outside a crowded high school football game. And we know this because the district released its incident report detailing just what led up to that shooting. Yeah, the night team Xavier Everett has been following this case for months and breaks down these new details. As the school year comes to an end in Northside ISD, stains from a shooting seven months ago outside a crowded football game still linger. An NISD officer shot a woman who they say was, quote, becoming aggressive in her car at the Dub Ferris Athletic Complex on October 28th of 2023. This happened just before the 2 p.m. football game between Sotomayor and O'Connor. The district released new details of what happened. Its incident report says NISD officers Kyle Kennedy and Joseph Garcia addressed a woman named Marque Garcia. The report says she, quote, attempted to drive away, dragging Officer Garcia, and that's when Kennedy shot her. In our previous reporting, we learned Marque Garcia was shot once in the arm and then taken to the hospital. In a statement we received this week, her attorneys say she was severely injured and that the officers, quote, acted with complete disregard for her safety and for the safety of other families at the football game. We reached back out to NISD late last week and the district confirmed that Kennedy remains on administrative duty and that it's cooperating with the San Antonio Police Department's investigation. Over the last couple of months, NISD and SAPD have been tight lipped with details about this shooting only after a public records request and a ruling from the attorney general's office where we finally able to get this incident report. But this week, a spokesperson for SAPD confirmed the case has since been turned over to the district attorney's office for a possible charge of aggravated assault by a public servant. The DA's office says it cannot comment on ongoing cases. But this document provides long awaited clarity for NISD families, even half a year later. As far as we know, no one has been criminally charged just yet. We're still waiting to hear back from the district about a public records request we filed. It asks specifically to see body camera and dash camera footage from that day. We'll continue working to learn more details about what happened and what's next in this case. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News.